It is a great afternoon here at FedEx Field. I'm Wayne Viner, Bruce Posner, intern Mason. Maryland takes it. Bruce, how big was that win? It was big and tribute to 52. I'll do a little bit of his dance. No, no more dancing. All right. Well, maybe today. Listen, it was great. It was a big all-time win, and it shows the character of these players. Yep. Matt Canada talked about it. Mm -hmm. And what about his innovative offense? And I asked him about the scripted first series. You did? That was unbelievable. And he laughed. We make him laugh. We make him happy. Mason, you've loved this offense for years. Tell me how the Terps ended up taking down Texas today. Well, they used that motion, that jet sweep and the blocking tight ends to get out there. And I was telling you about that six offensive line set. It yep. worked great today. I'm surprised that it works so well because last year my whole story was Tom Herman brings a new offense it's not gonna work this year for the Terps it was a different story and finally finally praise whoever whatever football gods decided that Maryland was gonna finally line up under center Go Terps! Meyer Consulting Engineers in the past five years our organization has completed over 1300 projects in the US and abroad including many structures at the University of Maryland. For structural engineering and materials testing and inspection, call Meyer Consulting Engineers. Listen, if somebody would have told you six years ago when these two games were made. And you asked me this this morning on right, the air. Could Maryland possibly go 2-0 oh, against no. Texas? Oh, no, of course it, Especially not. down at Austin. Yeah. But then with all the what happened this year, it's unbelievable, and it was great. The first play when they had the right guard wide open and uh, they had a penalty for delay a game yeah. and Tom Herman declined it in yeah. tribute to Jordan McNair and yeah. they're going to put the ball in his locker and the guys played for Jordan today. It was a big factor. They There's did. no doubt. And and the unity of that squad was unbelievable. But talk about Kasim Hill. Kasim Come Hill. on. He kept it together. He, he made the plays, and even later in the game, he finally started to run the ball. He looked like Kasim Hill again. It took him, to me, about three quarters to start doing everything he was doing before, but he played against Texas last year. Maryland won. He played second game. Just Towson? Maryland yeah, Towson. won by a lot. He was. We were in the third game against UCF when he got injured, so this is his fourth game. Maryland wins again. So, really, he's 3-0. He's and oh. It's 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 incredible how he played. Hey, do I smell a... a uh, Bowling Green trip for you? No, <laughs> but I, I should have. But no, I'm going to Boca. Okay. Uh, but no Bowling Green. But we're going to watch on ESPN Plus the defense. I mean, you had three offensive guys up there after the game, right? It was Tavon. Yeah, Tavon Jacobs and, and Kasim, Kasim. Two guys. And and the coach is the offensive coach. Right. Defense. They had the transfer Trey Watson. He was getting lit up a bit. Excuse me. In the Texas scheme, he comes up with a big interception, changes the game. Maryland, hard-hitting defense right over there about the 40-yard line, causes a fumble on a short yardage play. Maryland's Brett Kulko recovers. Game comes down the last minutes. And, Big interception. And it was Antoine, Antoine Brooks, number right. 25, gets that interception. He had a great game, though. He got burned on a TD, but he had a great game. He did at, the, at that end of the stadium. But right. to... to be in here and you look across it's Texas and they brought a lot of people and they brought their senior band and their 23rd you go could we do this again yeah we could we're up 24 well, 7 we, we've gone 10 minutes so we haven't mentioned the name Jay Sean Jones go ahead as good as it could be three touches three touchdowns one rushing one receiving one passing Canada put it best. That play's only going to work once. He's only got one shot, and it worked perfectly. Okay, so uh, people were scurrying around the record books. Uh, Patrick Stevens probably has this. I don't remember anybody who's ever touched the ball three times in their career and had three touchdowns because he did, that was it. Three touches, three touchdowns. I, and that I might never I, have been done before. I can't answer it because I don't know. But uh, Mace, do you have any clue uh, that's ever no. been done before? If it has been, it's definitely not in the new, new mind. Yeah, well, it's not a record that you would talk, think about because it's, it's never, never happened. happened. Right. So I don't know. He, but he was fantastic. He wears number six. What else did you see for some guys that haven't been on the field before? And my guy, who you say is Keith Cavanaugh's guy, Tayon Fleet Davis, comes out as a wingback tight end, takes a handoff, and runs 20 yards in the end zone to our left. Well, of course you have Fleet Davis on the defensive side of the ball. We got to see a lot of rotations, got to see the Gaddies. 
For other players, though, uh, someone that you got to look at is Tino Ellis. He for forced a big turnover, that one that was right here on the 40. Yep. And he was not burned. Every time Maryland's played a good team, Tino Ellis has been burned. This time, the story's different when they really need him. There's no more J.C. Jackson or Will Likely. Now it's up to Tino Ellis Tino and Ellis. Lewis to make it happen, right. and, and they did a decent job. The that. Lewis from Florida State was on the field. Your guy, Rashad Lewis, was on the field. He wears number 13 for Maryland. They played a couple. I talked to Bryce Brand after the game. I got him second with Coward. I talked to Derwin Gray. That was one happy bunch of chirps. Bruce, we were sitting in the press conference after the game, and you said this has to be one of the biggest wins in uh, Maryland history, especially considering the circumstances, especially on opening day. Talk about that for a second. Well, we've heard the, the, the malarkey and some of the stuff that Maryland should get rid of football. And Maryland should do this. And, you know, and all these things that are absurd. Yeah, it's an outright tragedy what happened to Jordan McNair. But you don't get rid of football for that. In other words, football is at the core of the institution. And it, it means a lot to a lot of people. How about the 90 kids on the team? Mm -hmm. Did you see the joy on their faces oh, today? Was wonderful. And uh, yeah, it's tragic what happened to Jordan, but we can't take it back. And the way the fans and basically the character of the players today it was just i you know i almost had tears in my eyes yes yeah, me too and it was just a special day to be a maryland football fan and as we all know time is money that's where our fully managed approach to it can help with proactive remote monitoring and management we're able to keep tabs on your it infrastructure 24 7 365 days a year and when a problem does arise, our technical experts can quickly resolve it, in many cases before you're even aware that there was a problem at all. For an affordable fee, we'll provide the monitoring, technical support, and full problem resolution you need to stay productive. Want to learn more? Drop us a line today to see exactly how we can help keep your systems running smoothly and keep you focused on what matters most, growing your business. Before we go any further, we'd like to thank our growing list of sponsors. Meyer Consulting Engineers with us for now, the seventh Maryland football season. Of course, this is all powered by Viner Four Gates. Uh, Mason, you brought in some new sponsors to Young Terps. We have to go to the Oregon Grill, and there's one other place we have to catch on the Terp Talk the side. The Valley Inn, and we can't forget about Atmans. We can't forget yeah. about the uh, Gourmet again. Costas. Cunninghams and, and, all those, and Costas. And, and all of those. Yeah, yeah you, you can't just mention one. Uh, I'd like to thank two new sponsors on the Young Terps. Oh, you got Water Crafters? Yeah, Water Crafters in Gaithersburg, Maryland. And joining us, Allied Party Rentals, and they are based out of College Park, and they are the home team of all the Maryland Terrapins' tent right. needs. Right, also. so when you see a picture in the paper or something with a tent in the background, that's an Allied Party Rentals cooling tent. So that's all great. Um, coming up this week, of course, Wednesday night, Bruce might be a tennis guy, he might be a radio guy, we're not sure yet. But there will be Terp Talk no matter what. Terp and, Talk, uh, 1300 CBS Sports Radio. Uh, Mason, you have some special guests for your Sunday wrap-up show that's going to recap this game. Who do you have? Yes, yeah, Sunday we will join, we'll be returning to the Young Terps podcast, and we'll have special guest Don Marcus on to discuss today's game. Yeah, you know, it's funny, it was, you know, the other day I complained a lot because there were 13 or 12 non-actual football-related questions. Today, every question was football-related, and uh, Matt Canada deserved it. And the rest of it is going to work itself out. Well, I'm going to tell you one thing. Yeah. All right, no matter what happens, the University of Maryland football terrapins have themselves an offensive coordinator, despite what Ed Ogeron said, because this guy... This offense, he yep. utilized the talent as well. It goes back to the days of me with Ralph and the mm -hmm. way he utilized the offense yep. and utilized everybody. Mm -hmm. And it was special today, the way he did it. I go, it was special. All right, I wanted one of the, one of the best post games we've done. We were on the field in Austin. And you said uh, that this, this win was for the young guys and the Penn State win was for the old guys. As we go to close here, what's this one mean? This one's for everybody, this especially is for, for football and for the Jordan McNair family and for everything that went down. And really for Matt Canada, it was it was a big everybody. day for him. Because it was for of what this program's gone through. 
everybody wanted to judge Maryland football. And those 90 guys that are in that room and all these fans that came out here today to support them and the ones that couldn't be here have stuck with them. Now, a lot of these Maryland media guys and Maryland fans, they don't say we should get rid of football. They don't say we need to get rid of everybody in this program. They stuck with our guys, and that's who this win was for, the guys that support Maryland football and the team. Well said. For the old Terps, Bruce Posner and Wayne Viner, and the young Terp, Intern Mason, this has been the Terp Talk postgame, a victorious one after the win over Texas, 34-29. We will see you guys on the radio on Wednesday and from the Maryland Press Conference on Tuesday. Good night, everybody.